What's up, everybody? Supreme Decisions here, and I'm coming to you, like I told you, with a new series called The Brady List. And today, first officer that we're going to highlight is from Fort Pierce in, I believe it's Dallas area, but I'm actually going to have all the information up. But it's the Fort Pierce police officer, Eric Arellano. Now, I want you to understand the importance of doing the Brady List and what it consists of. Because when you're doing the things that we talk about, I did the podcast that I spoke about the putting police officer's character on trial. Because you have the right to confront your accusers. And you also have the right to cross-examine witnesses against you. Now, we all know that a police report is a officer's testimony or affidavit for which they are using or being used as the crux for any charges that are going against you. So you have the right to challenge the comments that are put into that thing or statement or report, however you want to put that. Because one of the things that we have to go through because I talk about the stock language that's being used. And I talk about how police officers aren't able to articulate. They're not designed to articulate. Their job doesn't even consist of correct articulation. It's given an actual language for a certain situation to make sure that they stay in the good. Now, we also know that if it goes unchallenged, you cannot bring it up later in appeal and different things of that nature. So what we have to do in order to, as they say, go after the few bad cops because we know these reports, their character is what allows us to actually kind of weed out the bad ones and make them go to an articulation of actual policing. Now, one of the things that we do when this, if we're also understanding that a prosecutor can also be held liable if a police officer or they're putting what is known as a known liar on the stand, they can also set up for automatic appeals because that will be something deemed as a judicial error. But let's go into the actions of Eric Arellano and why he is on the Supreme Decisions Brady list. Well, on March 12, 2023, a couple weeks ago, Eric Arellano was in a police car. He hit a child, you know, at a crosswalk. Well, in the midst of doing that, Arellano lied in a police report and then he proceeded to lie multiple times to his supervisors. These are character flaws because if he's willing to lie to those that are actually training him, how can he actually be held as a standard for any citation or investigation he's involved in? Here's, was, here's the one thing I want to bring up that's important to me was how they found out that Eric had lied. Well, basically, and I've said this before, you go into looking for home surveillance systems. And again, it was another system on someone's house that was facing the street. And also being specific in your request. The context of it was there was a GPS request of the officer's vehicle at a certain time. The time put him at the accident when they said it happened and the video confirmed the time from his GPS. These are things that we also have to take note and when we're weaponizing our defense because when we're going after not only our accusers, we're also challenging evidence. So the purpose of the Brady List is to get bad officers off the street and also make sure that we are going into a system of actual policing, doing actual police work. So remember, if you have a case in Fort Pierce 
with Eric Arlano is part of the scene, as part of the investigation, or has written you a citation or some type of charges. This is where you challenge it because if he lied once, this is not the first time he's done it. So guarantee this is one of the means in which you can actually get your case dismissed or actually have your cases reviewed. That is the purpose of the Brady List. So keep that in mind. Hit that thanks button. Also, if you want to donate, don't feel any hesitation to do so. Talk to you guys soon. Join the channel. Support the podcast. Supreme Decisions, Legal Minute, and Supreme.